seeing your supply chain as partners to bring up to speed, not as roadblocks keeping you from doing this. Yeah, I hear a lot of times that, oh, our suppliers aren't ready for MBD, when in reality, the suppliers are clamoring for MBD. They, they want that data, they want that model because it makes their life easier. Um, and it, it connects them uh, to you very much. It, it's, it's a tighter connection um, and things flow much quicker. Um, one of the one of the kind of hidden things about bringing your supply chain into the the whole MBD conversation is um, you can start to make your supply chain a little bit more robust to withstand uh, you know market pressures. Uh, there's there's always some sort of disruption in the supply chain, and um, if you can eliminate some of the uh, slack as you're trying to communicate. And and try to tell them why you're drawing is is uh, really telling them what you want instead of just giving them the model. Um, they have a little bit more flexibility to react to supply chain pressures, um, just because you've you've taken a lot of that slack out. They can pivot much easier, much quicker. And they're so smart. The suppliers are so smart. Right. They 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 under well, they understand what they do. So when yeah. you start to talk to them and say, you know, bring them into the conversation. Um right. a, a lot of times and, and I'm gonna lump a, a whole bunch of people in in into buckets here. So I I'm probably gonna really irritate people. Um, <laughs> but a, a lot of times uh with the way engineering data is now, you have you're dictating the manufacturing processes on your drawings because all of that information has been contained on the drawing traditionally. Right. Um, you're telling them how to inspect. You're giving them inspection points where you know, just tell them what you want. I want a widget that does X and it has to meet this criteria and remove the, the constraints. Let them do what they do best. Uh, you know, let your manufacturing uh, centers do what they do best. Because they they know how to achieve those tolerances that you need, um, and then you know don't let don't let quality um, be constrained by telling them how to inspect something. Uh, it, it's it's more cost effective just to let them do their job, and let them tell you you know is manufacturing hitting the mark for what you need. And the way to get to that nirvana you just spoke of. <laughs> is by having really good engineering data because most of what the suppliers have seen to date is really bad engineering data, really bad requirements that are not uh, capturing the design intent within a mathematical space. And so it, it we get it that, you know, why the loop is sort of established that we have all this manufacturing quality information stuffed under the drawing. But if we can get the engineering data to be unambiguous, then the supplier's job is much, much easier. It also yeah. fascinates it, as the as a person who writes the supply chain surveys and then reads the results of the supply chain surveys, I'm always fascinated by the fact that like, oh, no, no, that supplier can't possibly handle a model like just because they're not handling the models from you doesn't mean that they're not handling models like the I very few there are some suppliers that we run into that are one to one like they you are their only client but that's mm. that's not right. that's not the norm most suppliers are doing stuff with multiple clients and multiple cat softwares and multiple engineering teams and they are you know what's what's our thing juggling fire I mean they're juggling fire all the time anyway so yeah. they're they're usually more capable than people think they are. Now, taking their supply chain to to be fully model based can be really expensive for them. It doesn't necessarily mean that everything all the way along the line is, you know, switches overnight, but you can really th those conversations that Dwayne's talking about can get a lot more efficient when they can see because they're 3D people in a 3D world making 3D parts. <laughs> And so when you give them a 3D picture of the part, you know, with the data that they need, it's much faster for them to quote it, much faster for them to figure out what tools they need, much faster for them to understand what's going on. And we can't underestimate that efficiency gain. And I, I have this. 
I, I have this Nirvana vision that you know we can have a fully collaborative product being built. I mean, can you imagine what it would be like if you were able to get feedback from your manufacturer on, well, if you just made a tweak here, we could make it 30% cheaper. Um, and, and some of those conversations, I mean, some of those conversations happen today, don't get me wrong, but bringing them in as a team member you can you can start to do that with with MBD because you're getting uh, that that feedback that's digitally connected all the way through. Right. Yeah, and there's a lot of talk in manufacturing about sustainability too. We haven't really it isn't on our it isn't on our list of ten things, but it is a thing to think about. You know, is can we can you reduce the scrap? Can you increase the amount of reuse that you're doing, not just of your CAD? <laughs> <laughs> but of but of your scrap materials as well. I mean, people have we've got to figure out the sustainability question and having digital data where we can see where those efficiencies can be gained is going to make that a lot easier. So it, that's another initiative, corporate initiative that you can tie into this MBD conversation as well. Yeah, All right, because let me tell you, I, I I know some of those suppliers out there, they're like, hey, when we when we get a batch of order, you know, an order from customer A, we have all of this scrap left over and it's this size. But customer B over here has something that I can use that scrap for. And that's that's one of the efficiencies that they're getting. And they're doing that today. They're just doing it more in a manual sense. 